Here's another really cool modeling trick that you have to know. We just made a video earlier about how to make a bridge between two objects like this. So let's say you have two kind of organic meshes like this and you want to make a nice organic bridge between them. We learned how to do that in the last video. I recommend you watch that. It's just two minutes long. This is going to make a lot more sense. If you see that, I'll put the link in the description. But I'm going to show you an even cooler way to make even cooler bridges in this. All right. In the last video, we just learned about how to take these two surfaces, use our loop tools to bridge those together. But now I'm going to show you how to get more control over the shape of the bridge. All right. So let's say I want to make a bridge which is going to go over and above this way, or maybe I can shape it into even a loop or something. To do that, I'm going to have to delete four faces on this object and four faces on this object. The faces that I'm deleting are going to make a hole and this is the part that I'm going to connect with the bridge. Now to control the shape of the bridge, you have to hold alt while you select this edge loop around the hole which we just created here. Now we're going to go to top view, we're going to duplicate this little circle and we're going to place it somewhere else. And you can do this as many times as you want to and this is going to control the shape of your bridge. All right, you might have to move your view to a different side. So it's easier to adjust these a little bit. Now we're going to make just one simple action and it's going to connect a bridge between all of these loops instantly. So we don't have to manually create a bridge between each one of these. And of course, you can shape this whatever way you like You can make this go all the way around the object or you can make it go somewhere really far away. It's completely up to you. But you have to select every single one of these loops and press W go to loop tools and click on loft. This is going to run a bridge from the beginning to the end and through all the little edge loops which we just created. Now you have to be careful because the twisting might be different on some of the segments. Currently, it looks like there's no problems at all. But sometimes it can happen that you get some really bad twisting on one of the segments. For example, a little bit of twisting like this, it doesn't look bad, it even makes this bridge look a little bit cooler. But sometimes you can get way too much twisting and it just starts to look unreal. So to fix that, just go to face select mode, select that one segment, delete the faces on that segment and just manually create a separate bridge on this particular segment. When you create a new bridge, you can control the twisting for that specific segment. So you can adjust that to whatever you want to have on this particular part of the bridge. And now you can make a whole bunch of crazy organic objects. You just upped your modeling game in the past three minutes. If you want to see more tips like this, I'm going to make a massive update to my Blender ebook. I'm going to put everything that I know about modeling and Blender into that ebook. It's coming soon. If you want to know more about this ebook, if you want to follow the updates, or if you want to make some suggestions as to what you would like to see in a Blender ebook, then just follow me on Patreon. It's completely free to follow me and I'm going to keep you updated with what's going on. So let me know what you want to see next. I'll see you guys in the next one.